Welcome back guys. In this video we'll be creating a, a button that will let us toggle the status of, status of this project uh, whether it's still pending or um, by default all the projects are pending because the due date is in the future but we haven't put any logic that if the due date um, if it passes the due date it should say overdue or something but we'll do that in the future but right now we need a functionality that we can toggle the status of a project if it's complete we can call it complete or pending now how to do that we'll be creating a button basically that'll, be, that'll say mark complete and when you click that button it actually um, fires a method on the controller and we're gonna add that method which is basically a patch request uh, to the server which will set the boolean value of completed in our database table column to true or false by default uh, it's false excuse me so let's get started the very first thing we're going to do is open our application and then we're going to be adding um, let's open up the routes file and we'll be adding a patch request to the project controller so we can do so in our group which is um, the protected on auth middleware to all the routes here and let's just go it actually ends here if you notice it it, it will end here so let's just go here and the, the trick to this is every time you want to add a custom route you must do it before the resourceful routes then it'll register that method otherwise it's uh, it's overwritten or something so it has to come before the resourceful routes so let's just call it route and the name of the uh, the type of the request for example patch and let's just say we're gonna call it the route it's gonna hit projects and it's gonna say completed but we're gonna be passing in the the key the project ID or the project slug so we will call it projects and then which method we wanna fire is the name of the controller and we will register a new method the name of the controller has to be upcase project controller at completed that will register this route for this method now let's go ahead and create this method in our uh, controller and we'll open up the controller here essentially it's nothing but an update request a patch request which is an update request so right here I can create a new method I'll call it completed that's what we declared in our um, routes and we're gonna have to pass in the project um, an instance instance of the project because uh, we need to know which project we are updating and then the next thing we're going to do is um, we won't be doing an Ajax request here just a general usual HTTP request so because um, it's only it's gonna happen like in a split second you know there's no query all it does is it toggles the uh, the status to true or false So we'll be, we'll be running a check because it's toggling we need to make sure what's the current status so if the instance of the project and it has a property completed if you go to create projects table we did create um, a table column which is boolean and it has uh, the name of completed and the default was false so we know that it's false but just in case because it's a toggle button and if you if you click it to true and when but for some reason you wanna reopen the project you can again toggle it back to false so let's just say if it's already false then do this else do this and this will will just remove for now so what we wanna do exactly well the very first thing we can do is we can set it uh, to true true 
because it's if it's false let's set it to true because I, I wanna I wanna update the value and then we can say in this instance uh, we can update and we can run this update method and we will pass in that update the value of this project completed value to the current value which is going to be true if it was false so if the project completed is already false then set it to true and also update the value in the database to true so project uh, completed and that will set the value and then we will redirect back to projects with uh, return redirect to projects with a message we can do this way just to select different every time for learning purposes there you can also pass in uh, there are many ways you can do that you can set sessions um, session there are static methods on session class you can use them but I like to do slightly different for my training and getting familiar with different kind of features in Laravel so success good job um, project marked as done so so far we have been uh, returning an Ajax response which the notification is displayed in the model window but in this case because it's not an Ajax request we will be just uh, will be using notifications to display on the page and they just go away after a second or two so we'll be uh, putting in some Java JavaScript to jQuery we'll look into this in a minute so we'll be returning back to projects with a success message good job project marked is done otherwise we'll do exactly the same thing except uh, we'll set that to false so which means if the project is already false do this if it's not false which means it's true then set it to false and update this and we can say project um, good job project change to project status change to to pending um, we can't say good job so just say project status mark mark status change to uh, pending that's good enough okay so that's our controller method and that's been registered in the route so next thing is to open up our projects which is uh, projects home page which is this one and right here we have our first button here and we're gonna try to create another one um, so that we can uh, there'll be basically a form with a method of patch so all we have to do is um, expand this excuse me all we have to do is expand this uh, ally make a copy of that and just add another one so we will open a form and because we are passing in an instance so why don't we just use form model binding in this case which is form model and let's pass in an instance of this project like so and the method is going to be patch and it's going to hit project controller at completed P O M P L E T E D, and we don't. We can still pass in the project slug, of course, and uh, form horizontal, and that should be okay. So we will include a button because we don't need to include any model window here or form or anything. Just include a button. That button is going to have type, and the type is going to be submit because on, when we submit this, it's going to submit to the server so it's going to have a class of btn btn extra small and btn wide and then here we're gonna output the the status whether the status is pending or complete and how do we do that well we have a variable we have the project instance with us in this on this page we are looping 
the project ID, name, username. So we have this uh, each of the projects listed inside the database we are running for each project as project we, we are outputting this. So let's use that. And if the project has completed and is equal to let's just say true. If the project completed is true, that means you can only mark it as pending right now. Otherwise, you can mark it complete. Do you understand what I mean? This is the name of the button, which means the button will look like mark pending if it's currently true. True means it's finished. The project is complete, which means you can only toggle the status to pending. But if, the, if it is false, the, the project is currently pending, which means the completed is false, then you can only mark it as complete. It's other way around, opposite. So let's take a look in the browser how it looks like. And here is our button, but I don't really like the text. The text looks like a little bit not friendly. But anyway, we can fix that in a second. Ah, I, for I always do some kind of typing mistake and then it's a headache. Sorry about that let's go back to the browser again and refresh it and this time it looks better so mark complete and what if we try to hit that right now what happens let's see so right now it's pending we we toggle it and we get a notification good job project marked as done and goes away and it's already been updated to completed uh, be mindful of this that we haven't put any logic when we click mark complete uh, for example I want to say this project is complete for example now we don't have a logic in place that um, if there are any tasks inside this project and whether or not those tasks are still open we haven't closed so there if there are any pending tasks if they haven't been marked complete we shouldn't be able to mark complete because those tasks might be shared with other users we'll be expanding this application to like a group activity so if they haven't finished their tasks we can't mark it complete as a project manager so we'll prepare the user interface and basic functionality in the version 2 this is just version 1 in version 2 we'll try to put that logic that if the tasks are open it'll give us a notification you this particular task is open make sure to finish this task or delete that task or something like that and stuff like that so right now this button is able to mark it complete and if we click again it can mark it pending and notification project status change depending so try to create this button in this video and see if you can um, achieve this functionality in the next video we will create another button which will help us delete this project but it won't be deleted it'll be sort of a soft delete it won't be deleted in real from database so what that does is that sets the date um, deleted at timestamp which we created I'll explain to you in the next video basically that uh, what it does is every time we query the database the del soft deleted models will be excluded from the the query you will only see the models that are currently active not soft deleted but anyway in this video we managed to create this pattern that lets us fire a completed method on the controller we registered this method in the routes and that lets us uh, toggle our um, project status to uh, pending and fall uh, pending and complete so, um, so yeah, let's proceed to the next video in which we will create the delete button. So thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.